one of the important features of the CPI is the process direct adapter. And I thought that it would be really useful to take it as a separate module because it's not like the other adapters. It's, uh, it's an internal adapter built for com communicating really fast between uh, different flows. Um, and that means you can actually use it as like a shared library of things that are going on here in the system. Uh, so it could be used for some generic uh, functionality that you want to share uh, between different systems like you can use it for connecting to a log server you can use it to to use it for connect uh, common functionalities that you want to use in multiple different flows but don't want to copy all of this into to one flow so that's really one of the key concepts of this and then one thing to notice and something that I struggle with from time to time is it's an asynchronous uh, a synchronous process so it's just like the HTTP adapter when you call it it needs it will first return once the process is finished and you're getting all the data back um, so yeah something I would like to have it as, as a file and forget just send this message and, and get this the, the information back so what I've been using this for is I've created uh, iFlows and so I have a Salesforce upload and I have um, some some external web services that are exposing and then I have a generic way of uploading data to Salesforce and with this I've then made a specific iFlow that does this all this upload and then I'm just calling this URL from in from all the other flows and handling the upload there that makes just one place where i need to put in authentication stuff like that and then i've actually taken the authentication out of it and then added it because i needed to use it in two different flows so i think that's an approach for this so when you're doing development you'd say okay this is a common functionality you may consider is this just a groovy script that i want to reuse or is this a functionality with multiple connections that I want to reuse and then you're actually moving it into a separate uh, process where you can have the data. Um, so yeah, build for bu building box, logging, authentication, uh, generating specific authentication token, uh, shared functions. Um, if you have some so the other one was a success factor where we had a query and it was not just the old data query that was uh, difficult to make it was also a lot of the other components uh, how do we actually process the data afterwards and connect and get more data um, and we wanted to have an option both of running it on a, a scheduled job and also as a one-time event and with 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 this we can create a building block with just the the query part and then we had two different ways of, of approaching this or you can actually uh, you can create a b2b dispatcher that says if, if we're getting this data um, this is order number or orders then it will be processed in one specific one invoices will be patched process in a different one and you can actually add uh, custom numbers to it also so one of the, the key concepts of this is actually understanding what's shared between these things. Um, so header parameters are sent from, from source to target if it's allowed in, in the allowed header in the target. Um, so I think that was all I wanted to show you in this one. So I have th two scenarios here. So I have this scenario. We are setting two a uh, flow here that says flow it equals to to variable one we will then call the separate second flow and this is just called cpi course module uh, 1.2.1 and finally we will then take backflow just so we can get the data if we look at this other data other flow here we're just saying we have just one uh, address here and here I have said that the allowed headers are number one. And up here in our, my configuration, there's no allowed headers. 
So let's just try to set up trace on this. So here we'll set up trace. Set up trace. We will take it here. So I th <laughs> it's not any big document that we're sending. Um, we are getting a body bag that says flow number two. And if I recall correctly, then in here, in our content modifier, we're just setting this data to flow number two. We have, we're setting flow one and two header parameters up here. And the same with the uh, headers. So let's see what, what this looks like when you're running it in, in runtime. We can see we got our two messages. First number one, if we look at that one, and just look at our payloads, we can see that the data before we're sending the data is we got flow number one equals one in header. In our property, we have the same, and we got a payload that's coming in. Then after we have called it, we can see the payload has changed. This header attribute has not changed. And then we're getting these two data that's being updated. So it's propagating the header data back from this uh, new flow. And then if we look at flow number two, the step part here, and our trace data here. And look at our content before, we can see it gets the flow data number one but it's not getting the header properties. And after we have set it, we can see we're setting these values and setting flow number two. So I do hope, uh, so if we just in this one, change the allowed headers in this one to none and deploy it again. then we should see that in here we will not get the header information from the first process and out here in our out of flow it is still able to propagate header data back so it's only what are the headers that this one is allowing that we wanted uh, to have showed. Um, so I hope that you understand a little about what uh, process direct adapter about, what you can actually use it for and why it makes sense. But, and I think this is one of the, the key adapters you need to use uh, to make modularized code and just think of it as uh, have function calls or methods that you want to call in your CPI with some specific uh, content data, setting the, some of the, the header properties that you want the next one to have, and then do some generic functionality in it. I hope this has been useful and something you can see how it can actually be used in your system.